Hello, bonjour, and welcome to Art Forum. The special guest columnist, La Gary Leon. <laughs> Good day, Gary Lyon here. You know, the average reader might be struck with incredulity to learn that most of my colleagues on the footy talking panel aren't aware of Paul Gorgoin. This French artist belonged to the strand of 19th century post-impressionists that included the likes of Cézanne and Surratt. His work was less academic than these masters, but no less evocative. Recently, I acquired his masterpiece, Where Do We Come From, What Are We, Where Are We Going, from an art dealer in Footscray who went to great lengths to assure me that it was the original. Luckily, I have an eye for these things, being a footballer and also, I didn't need convincing. The work is worth millions, but because I'm a celebrity, I got it for just 80 bucks. What a steal. The average punter also wouldn't be enlightened to the fact that one can make a packet from having this piece auctioned off at Sotheby's in London. However, let us focus on the ramifications of this work. When Gorgoin completed this painting, it was the latter half of the 19th century. Western civilization was surging into the industrial age, and not coincidentally, attitudes were mutating fast. As a consequence, new ideologies spawned from this thrust in man's evolution. Nihilistic philosophers such as Friedrich Nietzsche challenged our age-old dogmas, whilst naturalist Charles Darwin turned Christianity on its head pretty much with his theories on evolution. Around this time also, Friedrich Engels and Karl Marx released the Socialist Manifesto. This paved the way for the countless revolutions that shook the social order in the 20th century. Owing to the rapid development of photography, the daguerreotypes have been introduced by a chemist in the late 1830s, the art world also underwent a series of revolutions which further changed the way we perceive things. Yeah, I know, all of this well-documented evolution doesn't really rate next to the importance of who's on top of the AFL ladder, but it's important nonetheless. Gorguan's painting depicts the Tahitian women at different stages of life, working right to left from a newborn baby to a dying woman. The lurid colours in the piece preempt the early favourites, but somehow bring a sense of balance to the scene despite the underlying melancholy. It's pretty obvious too that the yellow chick in the middle who's standing on her tippy toes and pushing upwards is in fact a ruck woman. This is perhaps symbolic. It's probably meant to suggest that no social concerns, art, literature, music, science, philosophy, psychology, none of this is really as important as a game of footy. And there we have the purpose of this work sussed out. Next week, I debate with a panel of footy colleges over who was the better strategist, Sheeds or the Duke of Wellington. That's next time. Until then, punters, as longer, vita brevis. This has been Art Forum with Lagari Leon. <laughs>